morning. It's Monday and look what we've got going on in my office. A desk. Yay. We brought it up last night and then John put it together for me. So now I can start working on my stuff up here. So exciting. Anyway, hello. It is a Monday, like I just said. And I'm about to start working on my quilt. Um, I need to make the quilt sandwich. So I'm going to do that downstairs on the hard floor where I can lay out the whole backing, tape it down, put everything down, get it basted together, and then I'll bring it up here to quilt because this is my quilting spot. Um, but yeah, things are going pretty well today. I've been busy with like cleaning. I did a lot of stuff so far. I cleaned out the fridge, really needed to do that. Um, and then also, what else did I do? Vacuum the floor because I'm gonna lay the quilt out. Uh, just like some other sort of tidying, took out the trash and recyclables. I've just been on a roll and now I'm gonna do something fun for myself. Actually, I just brought up the backing. I think I'm gonna need to iron it again just because there's a lot of, you know, wrinkles going up it. Because it's been folded for like two weeks. So yeah, that's the plan. Um, do that and then I can start my backing or my sandwich. <laughs> Ma'am, I've got bad news for you. You're not helping. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. I finally got that all laid out. That batting was so hard to get flat and it's not even perfectly flat, but I think it's flat enough. I'm gonna use this corner as like my guide. I should have a lot of excess over here and a little bit at the bottom. So I'm gonna put the top down, see how it looks, and then trim the extra off before I do any of the basting. And also that's my assistant right there. Hi, Marco. All right, hello, update. I am at Hobby Lobby. Um, I didn't want to come here. I usually don't want to go to Hobby Lobby just because some of their values don't really align with mine, but they're the closest craft store and I ran out of basting spray from my stupid quilt and I really did not want to come to any stores today, but here I am at Hobby Lobby. Um, and so I'm going to run in, grab that and then get out because I just really don't want to be at the store. I was a little nervous actually driving because, oh, there's a person looking at me. I haven't um, gone out on an errand by myself really since my accident and I don't know why like I've been to work by myself but this just seemed scarier. Anyway, so I'm gonna run in, grab it. My drive was fine though obviously and I'm gonna be careful driving home but go in, grab my thing and then get back home so I can finish basting that quilt together. It's just laying out on the floor right now and I just know cats are going to be like getting all over it while I'm gone. <laughs> All right, we are back home, obviously, and I'm about to start putting this down. They didn't have the same kind at Hobby Lobby. This was what I had before. Um, and <clears throat> this is what I got this time, but whatever, I think it will work. <sighs> I just want to get it all together so I can take it upstairs and start quilting it. So, yeah. Hi, him and all. What do you think of my big quilt? Yeah. All right, it's all down. This end, the attachment is kind of sketchy. Like the little nozzle started getting clogged again on that stupid thing. And so it's not super secure down there, but I'm figure I'm gonna go ahead and start quilting it right away anyway. So, you know, I'll just go ahead and start working on it and it will be fine. Cause I'll get some stitches on it so it'll stick together and then I can pin it if I need to. Um, but yeah, that was hard. I don't know why it took so long and why that spray was being so bad, but we're, we're good. We're attached. I do need to trim off this excess white stuff. So I'm going to do that. And then I guess I'll take it upstairs and start quilting. It is a little wiggly and wonky. Um, but I think that's just how it's going to be. All right. It's all ready. I'm going to take it upstairs and start. I also made a plan. So I know what I'm going to do for my stitch pattern. So fingers crossed it all goes well. I want to at least get these first two stitches that I've got marked in here 
and then we'll see where to go from there. All right, I'm at the barn now, so clearly we're <laughs> seeing change. Um, that quilt is, was really getting on my nerves. I worked on it all afternoon and I barely got any of it quilted and then I made some mistakes and there were some issues. So it's just very frustrating. But anyway, I'm at the barn now. I just needed to come out and do something like more physical than sitting and quilting. And also I usually come on Mondays, I don't know. Navigator got his feet done, so it'll be good to see how they look. And then I think I might just lunch him. I you know I got all dressed up to ride, but We've been having some issues with contact lately and I think it would just be better to maybe lunge him and not have to have my interference, you know. So at least he'll get exercised and I won't be like messing him up. Does that make sense? He looks really cute. I gotta go get him. You look so cute. Hi there. What are you doing? Look at that nose. Did you run over here real fast? weirdo. Okay, I just pulled something out of my tack trunk and I'm afraid there might be like an animal in here. I can't see. Something moved in there it seemed like. I'm just gonna be careful because I gotta get that lunging stuff out so let me get... Oh, I'm kind of scared. Hold on. Hi cutie. Okay, let's see. Um... in that I'm not bending here let me turn my flashlight on if I can oh I can't at the same time okay well I'm gonna grab that but I need that hello and then I'm afraid to grab this thing because this is like the thing it looked like something was touching. Okay, let's just... Oh, there's a lizard in here. Do you see that? Oh my gosh, I don't know if I can catch it. Okay. Well... Um... Do you see that right there? Oh no. I know you're trapped. Maybe I can get him in this bucket. Is he on the bucket? Where did he go? Oh, he's down there. Okay. I don't really want to grab him because I just don't want to be touching the lizard. And there's treats. Those are fine. Has he just been living in here? How did you get in here? Okay, let's just scoot all this top stuff out of the way. I don't want all this stuff fall on him, because this will all like fall on him if I uh, let the fly spray out. And this stuff, greasy. You know, it's probably good for me to clean this out anyway. There's a lot of trash in here. That's trash. They're both trash. Wait, do I still have an echo spot? No, that's trash. Okay, hold on. I got the gecko out. Um, I had him, like, he like he grabbed onto this funnel that I had in there, and then I was going to show him, but he leapt off and ran away. So, that's good. I don't know how long he's been in there. Hopefully not too long. I don't know how he got in there. Um, but he's out now, so that's good. Uh, I can finish getting Navigator ready, and also put back all the stuff that I got out. You ready to be good? God, horses being active, so I'm gonna have some distractions to deal with. It's okay. All right. What a good boy to come right over. You did pretty good today. You're not getting a treat yet. We gotta put your stuff on. Okay, he's all done. All done up with all kinds of ointments and creams and stuff. You can have one more treat. Here you go. There you go. I guess I still have a crumb. Here. Good boy. Alright, are you ready to go? Why don't you go back out with your friends? Okay. Alright, hello. It is Tuesday and I'm about to go work on my quilt. 
hold on, get the door open here. There we go. Um, it is all laid out on the floor here. I don't know. Yeah, I didn't talk about it. I was having some issues yesterday. Hold on one second. I gotta sit some stuff down. Okay, anyway, it's hard to show on here because the thread... Okay, first of all, look at this really bad line. Wow, that's awful. Um, but... So I thought I would do this cool pattern where it's like... I go down to here and then go over. And then within this area, it's just going to be like going back and forth, you know, like that. And then, so then on this whole strip, it's going down and then all the way down for this big section, it would be coming from over here and going all the way down like little concentric squares. And then on this one, it would be like do, 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 over and over. Does that make sense? I thought it would look pretty cool. The difficult thing about that is I'm pivoting the whole quilt when it's when I make that right angle and sometimes I have to like fold up the entire rest of the quilt like more than half of it into a space like into squish it down so it can fit through this tiny tiny hole on the throat of my sewing machine <laughs> and it's just really difficult and yesterday I was being stupid and I accidentally did it with the needle up so I had to totally just like cut that stitch it in and then do the other line because I really messed it up. I think if I can get it to finish, it will look cool, but I'm kind of regretting choosing this. I feel like I should have just done straight lines on like going across the short way. That would have been easier. This is only my second quilt. I don't know why I thought, oh, I'm just gonna go for it and do something crazy. <laughs> Was not a good idea, but I feel like I'm gonna keep trying because <laughs> why not at this point? Even if it turns out ugly, like I said to John, even if it turns out ugly, it will still be cozy. So, yeah. So anyway, I'm going to work on that for a little bit. Um, it's about 11.30. I played Animal Crossing this morning for a while. Um, oh, and we got paid from our insurance today, so that means we can start doing some car shopping soon, which is kind of exciting. Probably a little stressful, but I need to get a new car now, so <laughs> maybe we can do that this week or this weekend. Are you going to be my assistant? Is that what you're doing in here? Okay. Okay, see this is what I was talking about. I just did a line straight from the top down here to here and then I wanna go this way. So I need to rotate it. And in my mind, when I was thinking about it, I thought I'll just rotate it this way because this is not a lot to go through. But if I rotate it that way, I'm gonna have to start pushing this way through instead of that way. So that means all of this has to come through this little opening. And there's not a lot of room. It's like all of this <laughs> needs to because this needs to be the new top. <sighs> okay, let's see. I'll see if I can do it. I don't know. I might have to, uh, I don't know. Uh. All right, hello, I'm back. It's like nighttime, can you tell? It's 8.15, we're about to go on a walk. We had lasagna for supper, that was really good. Um, and basically all I did today was work on my quilts. I didn't get that much done, but <laughs> cause it's just big and unwieldy, but. It was a good day, worked on the quilt, that was fun to do, and played Animal Crossing, so it's my day off, so I feel like that's okay. And yeah, we're about to go for a walk. John's just coming out of the bathroom. <sighs> Humanal? Where are your shoes? Better get them on. Looks cute, right? Hello, it is Thursday. I didn't vlog yesterday. Um, I just wasn't in the mood. I didn't really do anything after work. I was really tired for some reason yesterday, so I was kind of like lazy on the couch for a while. Tried to work on last week's vlog. That did not get finished. I am going to do that today after work. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, and then I went to the barn, which was fine. Navigator was okay, but also, I don't know. I've been lunging him more lately. I guess not a lot lately. Just the past two times I've gone this week, I just lunged him instead of riding. Just because riding has felt like we've been having some issues lately with contact and some resistance. And so I just figure if I'm lunging him, I'm not interfering with balance or I'm not doing anything about contact. You know, he's on his own dealing with that. So, and it's just fun to work him on the ground sometimes and do like, groundwork and lunging. It's just a fun, different activity to do with him. So I've really enjoyed that the last two times I've gone out there. So I think I might continue doing that a little bit more. Maybe if I go out three times, one time we'll be riding and two times lunging. I don't know. We'll just have to see sort of what happens. But yeah, so I went out last night and saw him and did that. And then that was basically it. 
But now today, I'm about to go to work, and my phone is saying low storage, so I gotta make this quick. But uh, I'm about to go to work, and then this afternoon, my plan is, well, do a manicure, because my nails are looking a little um, questionable, can you tell? And also, maybe work on my quilt. I might work on my quilt first, because then when my nails are drying, I don't wanna be like wrangling fabric. But yeah work on my quilt, do my nails, and play Animal Crossing. I really just want to do that for a little bit and sort of relax at home and have a night here with John because I've been going to the barn a lot, so I think that'll be good. But anyway, I gotta go. I will check back in later on. All right, hello, it is so much later, and do you see this? I have like ha new hairs growing in for some reason, and they're so short, but they like, I'm just trying to be the star. Anyway, <laughs> we're about to go for a walk. It's a lot later. Um, obviously, I didn't vlog after work. I didn't really do anything. I got home around 4.30 and literally looked at TikTok for like an hour and a half. Um, and then we just had some dinner. And now we're gonna go for a little walk before it gets too dark. So yeah, that'll be good. And it won't be so hot because we've been having, well, well <laughs> just trying to put a shoe on. We've been having a little bit of like cooler weather. So that's been great. Um, oh, and you know what? I just got in the mail for Navigator. Look at this thing. I didn't realize it was gonna be this big. A salt block. <laughs> It's like almost the size of my head. That's to go in his stall. Um, hopefully it will hang. Anyway, that's kind of what's been going on. Um, yeah, nothing's really happened. Uh, I want to play Animal Crossing when I get home. I didn't do that yet. I also didn't work on my quilt like I thought I was going to. So, too bad. Maybe this weekend. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Friday afternoon coffee. Alright, I just got to the barn. I'm gonna see if I can hang this thing up in Navigator's stall and then go get him. I can see him right now. He's looking at me. Um, and then I think I'm just going to lunge him again. Also, I'm sorry. I hope you can hear me over the wind. Um, I'll just check in on you in a minute. I'll just check back in a minute. Alright, we got it. Hopefully it'll stay. I think it's pretty well tied, but yeah, that'll be good. Hi, Navigator. Are you ready? You look so sleepy. Yeah. Goodness. Sunday, excuse my appearance. This is how I look when I'm not wearing makeup and I just can't be bothered today. I just can't. I have this breakout going on that came up out of nowhere, like a huge cysty something. And so I'm not putting anything on my face except for like treatments. And this is just how I look today. I don't really care. I'm about to go to the store, do our grocery shopping. Um, John's in the shower right now, actually, but yeah. Not a lot going on today. Uh, we don't really have any plans. Oh, I need to go water my hibiscus. It is looking sad. Um, but besides that, I don't know. I painted my nails. Haven't done that in a couple weeks, I guess. Oh, you know what's coming today in the mail? Actually, I don't know if it will get here today. Amazon says it will, but we'll see. Um, I ordered... <laughs> I ordered some spooky flamingos to put in our front yard for October for Halloween. <laughs> They're not here yet, um, but I'm really excited for them to get here. There's just like an orange and a black one. <laughs> Uh-oh, my banana plant is wilting. Um, it needs water. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to water that and the hibiscus. But yeah, so those are coming today. Maybe I'll show you if they do get here. I mean, I'll show you whenever they get here. It just might not be this vlog. But apparently I need to water my plants because they're all looking a little sad. So hold on. All right, here you go. Look at it, it's real wilty. That might be more than enough. I know it likes a lot of water, um, but I don't want to drown it. All right, let's go do the outdoor plant. Okay, let's just... I guess I can give this guy a little bit too. Mostly over here. There we go, that should be better. All right, look what 
got here. Don't look at how messy the floor is. <gasps> it's our flamingos. Margo. What do you think, Margo? <laughs> She's looking right at it. So we got an orange one and a black one because Halloween. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited about putting that out in the yard. And it came with legs, four legs. So yeah, that'll be fun. We have to wait until October to put those out though, I think. Margo. She's excited because she has a new box. <laughs> Hello. Also, let me show you what I got at the store that John thought I didn't need, but I knew that I needed it. John's not looking at me. Let me just show you it and then I'll explain the situation. So we found this in the Halloween section and it's a ghost cat. And John thought I shouldn't get it because it says <laughs> not dishwasher or microwave safe. But you know what? I had to do it. I couldn't not do it. I'm just excited. Look how cute it is. And I'll just hand wash it every time. So yeah, very cute. Anyway, I think it was a good purchase, even if John doesn't. What is wrong with my camera? Ugh, I don't know why it does that, but I really hate when it does that. It makes me mad. So, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do now. What should we do this afternoon, John? Anything? Nothing? Hang out? Yep. Chill.